Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're seeing my face first time, hi, my name is Kathy and welcome to my channel. Today I have a different video for you guys. By the way, Happy New Year! This is the first video that I'm talking in in 2021, so I hope this year is going to be good to you. By the way, if you didn't check out my vlogs yet, check them out. I'll put a playlist right here, they're fun to watch, hopefully. So today I thought let me do something different because you know it's a new year, 2021. So I thought let me do a review video because I got the newest generation of the iPad Air for my birthday. My parents gifted to me, I got the mint green one that I'm so excited. And I thought let me do a first impression slash review video. By the way, I just want to say that a disclaimer, I already take off the satisfying wrapper, you know, the wrapper you see people taking off in these unboxing videos. So I already did that. So I thought about this video idea after I unboxed it already. <laughs> But I thought I'm still going to film it. But if you want to hear my opinion on this iPad Air, you want to see if it's worth it. Keep on watching and let's just jump right into the video. So this is how the box looks like. You can see here it has a green Apple logo. I love that. Mint green is my favorite color. If you've been a long time subscriber, you know that mint green is my favorite color. And I didn't know actually that the iPad uh, came in mint green so I was very surprised when I received this gift. This is how it looks like It's so pretty and you can see here in the back. It already has a different camera than the other one I'm going to show you by the way a comparison with my first generation iPad Air so you can see the difference first off It's really light. I love this because this is so handy if you or traveling it's very portable so that's very nice i love also the design it's so sleek and pretty and this is like a metallic mint green as you can see here it's such a really a nice pastel color and i'm so happy that apple came out with that it has two buttons right here these are i think the volume buttons here you have the speakers at the bottom and you also have here the charger so where you plug in to charge by the way i have to see what this is but i think this is also a oh this is the mic and here also we have more speakers this this is the on and off button and i heard that this is a scanner where you can scan your finger to unlock so i'm very excited to test it out there's also here a camera at the front and i heard that this is better quality than the previous front camera so i'm very excited to try it out let's see what's in the box you see here this is you know what you always get and in here you have the instruction booklet and some stickers and here's the indeed the instruction booklet and then you also get a charger the charger looks different this time and looks like this and you also have the wire that it came with it and it has a different input and output as you can see here this is i think the usb-c and so you have a different port this time compared to the other ipad okay so we finished unboxing so let's start this off so as you can see here you have just the language like always so i click on english for the english one select your country region bring your current iphone or ipad here's ipad to sign in and set up oh yeah i really like that yes set up new ipad oh this is so exciting this is so handy it worked okay so it's transferring right now so i think we have to wait so i'll be right back when this is finished i didn't have to do that because it finished literally in a few seconds so we're on to the touch id so use your fingerprint in place of your passcode or apple id password for purchases i love the touch id on my iphone so i'm going definitely to install it also on my ipad by the way as you can see here there's a big twist difference from the previous ipad air you had here the home button and with the finger scanner but now it's here above so i'll just place my finger like there to activate it yay and it's been added this is very cool and how compact this is a scanner i love that don't click too hard on it because you can shut it up agree we never <laughs> read the terms of service but they still agree hey guys okay so we're back i had to wait for a while so that's why i ate lunch in the meantime because i forgot to back up my old ipad so i backed it up and now i 
uh, transfer the data here to my new iPad. So as you can see here, the same thing, you can choose between light or dark. I like light, so I'll choose light and also the tone of how the colors will look like. And now it's restoring from iCloud. Okay, so it finished back on everything as you can see. Yeah, I also have my old background picture. Let's see, so I'm gonna swipe up to unlock and it looks like this. I think there are a few new things. So it's very nice and as you can see, I got my old apps. Really like how the screen looks. It looks really nice. Let's see how the camera is. If we go to the camera settings, oh, <laughs> there's my eye. <laughs> yeah, this is so much better quality than the first camera. Yes, definitely. The front camera is so much better. And I think the back is even better. Wow, yes, yes. So now let's compare these two. So here we have the first generation iPad Air, I had the white one, you know, you could have only got it in white and black. It looks like this, it has the metallic back, so a little actually like the, uh, the fourth generation also. You can see here the camera is very different from the other one and it also had a home button here and the screen is smaller. And if we put the fourth generation next to it, look, there's a lot of difference. This is also a little bit bigger as you can see here. And you, ooh, ooh. and you can see here the screen is also bigger and you don't have a home button anymore and the camera in the back it's a little the same here only the camera is different and you also have a mic here in the back and as you can see here also that you have the front camera is right here and you have the front camera right here so those are the differences and of course also the iOS, I think this can only support till iOS 11. So for my final thoughts, if it is worth it to buy this new iPad, yes. It is very worth it, I got it as a present, but if you use your iPad on a daily for to watch Netflix, to watch YouTube or to edit photos or videos like I do, or if you're a student or you're at school and you really like to make digital notes or you like to read digital books, it's very nice. What I really love about this iPad, and it's not only the color, I love this color a lot, it is how lightweight it is. It is so lightweight. It is so portable. Yeah, so those are my final thoughts. And that was my video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this will help you, and hopefully this made up your mind of buying an iPad or asking it as a gift. Then get this video to 10 likes and subscribe if you want to see more of my face, more of my content. Please do check out my other content here on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye guys!